everyone, it's JJ Flazanes from Invisible Fitness and I'm going to show you an exercise called the tap back. It's an exercise that's not on my video and for all my coaching clients, when I try to verbally explain this, I just want to make sure that you're doing it properly. So you don't have to have a full set of stairs, just to let you know. You can do this outside, I do it at the beach with friends, um, on, on the, the ledge or on a stoop or on the curb if you don't have a set of stairs. So this is going to work. A little bit of the quads, a little bit of the glutes. It's going to be somewhat cardiovascular in nature, but it really is also going to be strengthening. It's a great exercise to use if you feel that you're unable to do lunges because you have knee problems. So we're going to start out on the first step. And I'm in Jeannie Peters' home. Uh, and she's the one videoing this, so I want to say thank you. Shout out to Jeannie Peters at Nourishing Wellness. So you're going to start out with both of your feet firmly on the stair. Do not hang your foot off of the back, okay? Um, you want to have a nice base of support. I'm going to do this with my right leg so that you can see a little bit better. I'm going to step back with my left leg while leaving the right leg on. This is the whole tap back idea, right? Now, because this is an easier step, to make it a little bit more intense for me, I'm going to add lifting my leg up as I come back on the stair. You would do this exercise and think about pushing down with the foot that's on the stair to engage your quad, to engage your glutes, keep your body upright, your abs in, chest and shoulders, nice and up and make sure you're breathing. I would use a heart rate monitor and I would, again, think about engaging the glutes, engaging the quads and lifting up. You're start, going to start to feel probably, again, the thigh and maybe the butt and maybe a little bit of the hip flexor from the leg that you're lifting up. I would do this for about a minute or count to 60 and then switch sides and that would be one full set. Now, if that's too easy for you and that really didn't do too much for you, which it will, if nothing else, get your heart rate up just a little bit, you can move to the second step. I would replace lunges. If you feel like, I just can't do lunges, try this. It's a different form of resistance on your joints, and you actually may find that you can do this and have no problem. So on the second step, I'm going to adjust it just a little bit. I'm still going to have you think of pushing down through the foot that's on the stair, making sure the whole foot is on the step, and I'm going to lift up, tap, and come back down. Now. Obviously having a railing is good for those of you that um, lack some balance, you feel like balance is, is an issue, but eventually, obviously I want you to be able to do this without holding on. Again, I would do it for 60 seconds or count to 60 and then switch sides. 